Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mary Ashcraft. If you are new here, you can find me on Instagram at that same name. I will have everything linked and spelled down below in the description box. Today I'm bringing you an unboxing of the Black Needle Society Happy Hour Stitching Box. This was made in collaboration with Erin to Martini Stitcher. I am so excited. This is their first actual uh, collaboration box, if you will. This is part of the regular subscription. Um, I hope my camera is not shaking too much. Um, and so if it does shake, I apologize. So I'm really excited. I have never gotten one of the regular subscription boxes before. I have only gotten special edition boxes, but I am a rep. And so this is my first rep box and unboxing. So I'm really excited about that. Um, if you want to join the subscription, I urge you to put your name on the waiting list. They are currently working their way through the waiting list. So, um, right now, if you were to join the waiting list, it might be a while till you, um, get a subscription, but you know, it's totally worth it. In my opinion, I really enjoy their boxes. They are wonderfully curated. Um, the, I do have a discount code. If you want to do a box to box subscription, um, my code is Ashcraft five. That code can now also be used in the vault, which is very exciting. Um, if you order a subscription that is prepaid for, you know, any length of time, not just box to box, my code does not work on that because that already has a discount. Uh, priced into the price. So um, let's go ahead and unbox. All I have done is uh, un I almost said untaped, but it's uh, oh, something's about to fall out. Uh, I've cut the little tape. So, oh, and I have, because it's the morning, I have coffee in my Frogwarts year two mug. I'm very excited for year three. I can't wait to see what Katie designs for that one. So just a quick look. Here's what the box looks like. On top, first and foremost, is their spoiler card. Um, this uh, graphic is really cute. On the back, I don't wanna show too much, but there's a challenge, a photo challenge that you can do on Instagram. Each day um, you show one or two of the items. And then here's some photos from previous um, ones. Oh, here is Lynn. Lynn is one of my friends. She is a rep as well. Um, cute. On the inside, spoilers. I always think of River Song from Doctor Who when I say spoilers. Um, so I don't wanna show that, but they have a little something something about uh, the Black Needle Society and a picture of Laura, Katie, and Athena. And then the next box will be Mermaids, Unicorns, Dragons, oh my. Um, I'm really excited about that one. That one would be fun. So, this side has each of the products and it tells a little something about it. Um, shall we? First thing on top I see is a needle minder. I always know needle minders because they come in this packaging. Um, floss, not in this case because I can see it, but floss normally comes in those like pouch cardboard cardboard boxes um let's see what's it gonna be what's it gonna be oh this is cute okay so it's martini glasses and it says always happy hour let's see if i can get that to focus always happy hour focus don't focus on me don't focus on me Okay, well, it says always happy hour. That is super cute. Um, always happy hour needle minder designed by the Black Needle Society. Who needs to wait for happy hour? It's always happy hour when stitching is involved. When I was in college, that was the first time that I really heard the phrase in abundance. It's five o'clock somewhere. Um, 
like everybody I know, my relatives in Ohio, my roommates, my my professors, like everybody, my my boss, everybody had stuff everywhere that said it's five o'clock somewhere. And so <laughs> I kind of, uh, you know, I know it's from a song and I do sing that song often, but um, it <laughs> it's just funny because it's like now it's everywhere. Next thing, some floss from Live and Die LA. I am part of that Facebook group. Um, so Live and Die LA, there's a Facebook group where you can buy her fabric. She does um, fabric nights just like uh, um, Be Stitch Me does as well. These are really pretty. Okay, so we've got three colors. This is Melon Illusion. It's really pretty green. These are all 10 yards. Um, and I think they're all... It doesn't say if they're silk or cotton, but I'm gonna guess that they are cotton. This is Bordeaux. I really love, love this color. Ooh, I like this too. Tequila Sunrise. That is really pretty. These are all super pretty. These are all super pretty. Um, so these were made by Live and Die LA. This cocktail inspired trio was created exclusively for our January box customers. All right, let's try to be somewhat organized here. Okay, what's next? I think I'm gonna go with this. Ooh, this. Yeah, it's a big one. Looks like it's going. Let me find where the opener is. The opener, I guess. <clears throat> it's a bag, okay. It's a bag and it says, it's stitch o'clock somewhere. Didn't I just say it's five o'clock somewhere? Uh, it's stitch o'clock somewhere. I love this. I'm always looking for bags to carry around my stitching or to create, carry excess things from home to work that don't fit in my purse because I just, I feel like I need to take my entire house with me when I go to work. Um, this is super cute. And I like that it's like a neon light um, fixture that you would see in a bar. Love that. Okay. Um, oh, I didn't read the, ba uh, bag, 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 bag. Okay. Designed by Blanca Design, meeting up with friends for a sip and stitch, travel safely with this vinyl tote bag, which conveniently is large enough to tuck a bottle of wine into as well. I love that. Um, okay. These are, here we go, really adorable, adorable. They are martini garnish pins. Um, this is a counting pin set. Did someone say martini? Would you like that with an olive, an onion, or a twist? Use, this, use these pins to keep your counting straight, just in case you have a little too much fun at happy hour. Also a cute addition to a soft, fully finished project. These are so cute. <laughs> this is so cute. This is this is such a creative box, I will say. I um I just think it's adorable. Okay, we have there's two There's two white boxes. This one is slightly smaller than the other one. Um there's no packaging on it. I have other than that it's rolling around, maybe a candle. I have no idea what's in here. Oh, not a candle. What is this? Tart raspberry syrup. First of all, I love this bottle. I love this packaging. Uh, my best friend is a graphic designer. She would probably really like this label. <laughs> okay, so. Let me find what this is. Okay, tart raspberry simple syrup. 
made by Shaker and Spoon. Erin regularly subscribes to and enjoys Shaker and Spoon subscription boxes. She asked if it would be possible for us to partner with them to bring you a simple syrup from their collection. We are so happy to include their tart raspberry simple syrup, which you can use to make a framboy thaws cocktail recipe on their YouTube channel or exper experiment with your own creations. They recommend use with use with gin, but will hold up in any alcohol you choose. How exciting. This is really cool. Um, so I think this recipe is also on the label. Um, it says it calls for spiced apple cider, dry gin, this syrup, heavy cream, and cinnamon. Now, I, I am very particular with my alcoholic drinks. Um, I really like wine, particular wines. I was in a wine class in college, so I'm a little bit of a wine snob. Um, and then I like margaritas because duh. Um, amaretto sours. I love amaretto. That was like my drink of choice in college. Um, select beers select beers but I haven't really experimented much with other mixed drinks um both my husband and my best friend love whiskey so I have tried whiskey uh based drinks like whiskey sours are both of their favorites um so I know I don't like whiskey that much but I've never tried gin um, I've never had a martini. I, so I'm really excited because this might get me out of my comfort zone and get me to try other things. I live across the street from a total wine and more. So they have, um, little tiny bottles of alcohol. I know a lot of places sell those, but, um, I might go over there and get a, a little bottle of gin or something so I can make this because the spiced apple cider I think my, my husband would probably like this too because he loves apple cider. So I might, I will try it and I will report back. Not trying it tonight, but um, I will try it and report back. All right, instead of opening the next box, I am going with this one. This is some fabric. I really like this color. Um, where are we? Oh, there it is. Exclusive five o'clock fabric made by Seraphim Fabrics. Oh, that's pretty. Erin asked Lori of Seraphim Fabrics to create a green olive inspired fabric for this special box. It is not the called for fabric for our pattern of the month, but we think it may be a great option with approximately two inch margins. I would say when I hold it back here, that's probably the most accurate representation of the color. Um, this is a 32 count even weave called five o'clock somewhere. I think I filled out the Google form when they asked what your preference is. And I think I said even weave. I have so much linen right now that I'm trying to, anytime I buy fabric now, um, I'm trying to get even weave so that I can kind of even out how much I have of each. <laughs> so this is a really pretty color and I'm excited to see what the pattern is. Okay, next is the bigger box. I don't see. This one's not as shaky. Okay, this one does not want to open. Open. Oh, wait. I was opening the wrong way. It's a glass. This is so fun. Oh, this is so cute. It says cheers. It has beautiful, like, honeycomb gold painting. Um, designed by the Black Needle Society. 
We were inspired by Aaron's floss tube closing line, cheers, to create this wine glass for your next happy hour. Oh, I might have to put this in my office. We are not one of those law firms that has like a bar cart. I feel like that's common in older, um, uh, like you see it in older movies. You have lawyers who have bar carts and things like that. Um, we don't have a bar cart, although we have talked about getting one. Um, but I know one of the, a couple of the attorneys have alcohol in their desk um, for long days. So I might have to stick this in my desk. I don't have alcohol in my desk, but I could be fancy and drink my water out of this while I work. That would be fun. I mean, I could also keep it here, you know, whatever. Um, okay. We have this. I have heard a lot of chatter about whatever this is in our our um, our group chat. These snacking and finger chopsticks. Oh, I think I know what this is gonna be for. You can't have a happy hour without snacks, but no, <laughs> no one wants a food stained project. Use these chopsticks so you can keep stitching while snacking with no mess. Thank you very much. This is exactly what I need. <laughs> oh, these are so fun. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right. I think this is the last thing, which is the pattern. Oh, this is adorable. That was a loud noise. Um, okay, so the pattern is by Ink Circles. And it's a clock with a bunch of alcoholic drinks. This is adorable. Um, so designed by Ink Circles, we are thrilled to include another custom pattern to our subscription boxes from Tracy over at Ink Circles. Erin specifically chose Tracy to create her dream happy hour pattern for this box, and we definitely agree she was the perfect choice. Grab a, a cocktail and enjoy stitching. This is so cute. I think I might have to make this for my best friend because, like, she is somebody, like, you know, she doesn't have kids yet, her and her husband, so they... Like their thing to do on the weekends is to go try out new bars and stuff. I think this would be adorable in her house. And got her a bar cart for her wedding gift many moons ago. Um, this is so cute. I love this. Okay, so to recap, this is such a, a great box. Somebody in the group chat said that they said this was their favorite box. I can't remember if it was... Candace or Cece? I think it was one of them. Said this was their favorite box. I could totally see why. I, I mean, I don't have any other subscription boxes to compare it to, only limited edition boxes, and that is like not comparable. But as my first subscription box, my first rep box, this is a fantastic box. I love it. I do have to say you, you need to be a lover of alcohol to enjoy it. Um, but even if you are not, the things in here are super adorable and super cute. I really like it. So we have the pattern. We have the fabric. I think this fabric would work well. Um, there might be a few colors that might, you might have to darken. Some of the greens, you might have to darken just to make sure that they show up well on <clears throat> this fabric. We have the floss from live and die la we have the adorable needle minder i'm gonna run out of fingers we've got the <laughs> the finger chopsticks and we have the counting pins okay we're we're gonna we're gonna do this in one hand we've got the simple syrup And the glass and then last but not least the bag I love this bag I'm I'm definitely gonna start using this 
to tote things everywhere. So that was everything. I hope you enjoyed this box and this unboxing. I really enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun. What is my favorite thing? Gosh, this is hard to pick. I really like the bag because I need a bag to, to tote things back and forth so I don't have to carry it. Um, I really love this floss. This particular color, Bordeaux, is really, really pretty. I really like that. Shocker, because I, I love plummy colors like this. Um, I do have to say, I really, <laughs> I really like these. Um, because I constantly, like, I always want to have a snack while I'm stitching. So I will either have to have my snack before I start stitching or after I'm done stitching or take a break in the middle and none of those options I really like. So these are a lot of fun. <laughs> um, uh, and I really, this pattern is just so cute. It's, let's see. It's 151 by 151. So on 30 count, it would be 10.1 inches by 10.1 inches. Um, and then it's all DMC. This is so cute. I'm gonna, I'm gonna after this, I'm gonna send a picture to my best friend to show her because of how cute it is. Um, so that's everything. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Um, go check out the, the waiting list if you want to get, if you want to get boxes like this um, that come every other month. Um, and if there was anything from this box that you liked, uh, typically um, items from a box will go up the first of the following month. So seeing as it's January, I would suspect that um, items from this box will go up February 1st. If not, it would be March 1st. Um, they usually will say in the email when that will be. Um, so if there's something from this box that you really liked and there's any extras left over, go check out the vault. Use my code ashcraft5 for an additional 5% off and um, you can get some items from this box. So let me know what your favorite item was. Uh, it's kind of hard to choose in my opinion. I really like the bag. I really like these finger chopsticks and the floss and the fabric and the counting pins would be really fun in a like a pillow finish um, and this needle minder. This will go on uh, a project soon, I think. And I'm really excited to try this drink. Um, this sounds delicious. Cider, gin, I have no idea what gin tastes like, but you know, sure. Raspberry, I love raspberry. And then heavy cream I drink every day in my coffee, speaking of. So that is everything. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what your favorite item was and I will have a regular floss tube video soon. I have stitched <laughs> over the course of the month, about a week's worth of stitching, <laughs> finally. So I will have a video soon um, and I can't wait to see you next time. Bye guys.